As a foreigner traveling in China, first thing that I would say is that foreigners are extremely welcome over in China. They're a very welcoming people, um, and it's it's you would have to try really hard to offend someone over there because they're very understanding of how culturally different Americans are from Chinese, and they're still even if you do make a faux pas or some kind of accident, they're still going to be very kind and understanding with you. So that's that's a good thing. So one thing you would want to remember is if you do visit someone's home in China, you definitely want to bring a gift of some kind. Um, some good gifts would be to bring some loose leaf tea, or a nice bottle of wine, or chocolates, or some fresh fruit. Um, but try to avoid giving something in the number four. For example, you wouldn't want to give four oranges or or four. Of some item, because in Chinese culture, the number four is actually it rhymes with the word for death,、um, and so we don't give the number four. It's an unlucky number. Okay. So another important tip is when you meet somebody, it's important to exchange business cards. So when you give your business card to a Chinese person, use both hands, not just one hand. Use both hands and give the card like this. And when you receive a business card from someone, also receive it with two hands. Um, to just use one hand would be to kind of half-heartedly take this person's identity that they're now sharing with you. So you want to use two hands to show that you are focused on them. You are receiving them with your whole attention. Take the card, look at it, examine it, and then look at the person and smile and have that sort of connection over that exchange, that meeting. You, me, me. Wa, good. How, not good. Bu hao. Hello. Ni hao. Goodbye. Zai jian. Thank you. Xie xie. You are welcome. Bu keqi. Please help me. Please help me. This is Qing. Bang wo, that I want this. Wo yao, jiga, I like this. Wo xi huan, jiga. Wo yao cha, I want tea. Cha, um, the word for coffee. On the other hand, if you're not a tea drinker, coffee is really easy. Cafe, beer, pi jiu. Cheers, ganbei, delicious, delicious. How chi? Let's eat together. Woman, eati chi ba. Woman, eati chi ba. Chinese is a tonal language, so the way that you say any word、um, really matters. Your pronunciation. Uh, must be spot on, or else you're going to say something completely different. So the classic example for that is ma 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 ma. So those are five different ways to say the same syllable m a ma. But if you say the first tone, the high flat tone ma, that means mother. Okay. If you say the second tone, which is a rising tone, ma, that is hemp. Ma. Which is sort of a low tone. It dips down and then comes up, but it's low. Ah,、uh, kind of valley girl, like what? That ma sound. That is the word horse. Ma, fourth tone. It starts high and it falls. Ma, that is to scold. And then ma is just a question mark. It's a vocalized question mark. So those five、um, ma 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 is sort of this comical poem that say, "Did mother use hemp to scold the horse?"